Shopify website for success. For demonstration purposes, I will be using products from my industry. I sell jewelry. As you can see behind me, I have a set of earrings, but I'm going to, no matter what product you sell or use that you want to put into your Shopify set, the process is the same. So no worries. I am doing this demonstration on a desktop, but it can be done on a tablet or a phone. Also the, uh, where the location of what I'm saying is maybe a slight difference, but it is searchable and it's very quick to find everything. It's easy access. Shopify is much user friendly than we think. So we're going to start from the very beginning. You, when you open up your Shopify uh, app, it is open to the home button, the home page. I'm sorry. So what you need to do is you'll see a little at the top left corner here, you will see what I'm calling that coin stack, baby. I'm calling it that paper stack. Okay. You'll see the paper stack, that money stack, that bling bling that's going to be yours once you set up this shop, all right? So click that money stack, bling, and you will see a great menu with home orders, products, and everything that we need to make this what? This website just awesome. Now, what you'll click on is settings here. And what will come up is this wonderful page with all of the settings that you need in order to get started properly. Now, in the first setting here, you see general. General in this location is simply the name of your business, the email address of your business, and also the physical address of your business also. Now, I do want to let you know that, um, it's, uh, I do want to let you know this is a great place to start. It is an easy place. You can get your comfort set in right here. And don't worry because it's going to get easier as we go. And why? Because I'm here to help you. Okay. So step number two, we filled, we filled out all of the information for our general section. And let's head on down to section number two. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And section number two will allow you to accept payments from the provider. Now, in order to uh, accept payments on uh, Shopify, you will need to accept Shopify payments, which is powered by Stripe. And here I am setting up someone's um, someone else's uh, settings. So I'm not going to enter this information, but I'm going to go ahead. And as you see, we're still going step by step. All right. So once you get this set up and your Shopify payment set up, because you can't sell anything, if you can't take the payments. So on this page is very important. It's very easy. It's just like a five minute process. Bling, bling, go back to the coin stack. No, we call it a paper stack, baby. So we've gotten that done. So I'm sorry, we've gotten that, we've gotten that done. <laughs> so you'll scroll back up to the top of the page, right here in your top left corner, you'll see where it's an arrow button, go back to settings, you'll click that, and we're gonna go ahead and go into checkout. Checkout is awesome, you can customize your checkout by clicking the customize checkout button. This is where, as you see, you can upload your store's logo, font and a whole lot of other stuff okay so here is where we would click you can set you can have a banner and let's go ahead and let it load i don't know why it's taking so long but that's okay because we've got this and tonight you guys are going to have all this set and you're going to be acting you gonna be so happy so as you see here let me move this out of the way the name of my friend's company is southern charm five accessories now she can also this is what her checkout page would look like because she's got her name set up she has paypal and she has gpal set up and if at the order summary she has one product in order to enter entered into her basket so it shows that wonderful five dollars okay so her contact information this would be here the um this would be for the customer shipping address and whatnot and then as you see you can continue to shipping method or the person can return to return to the cart these are the sections let's go ahead in the theme section this is great to do from the very beginning if you know the colors that you want to use for your theme i suggest you get those now let me go ahead and click on that and show you what this is you have the headings the body text, sale price, and all the primary buttons. The wonderful thing about this, you can change it to whatever you like. Whatever your colors you need for your business or your logo, or if you wanna match it all up, it's located right here. Now, I wanna show you something. See where I'm pointing here? 
this pound 69727B. That's a hex number. And this number is like a universal number and you can find it on the colors that you like. And that way, if you go ahead and copy and paste, like if I want the color here to be this color, I'll copy and paste this throughout the, um, throughout the website so I can have my banners and whatnot, all the same color. That's a great way to start your blog, I mean, I'm sorry, your website off. And as you see, you can do the same throughout all form fields. This is where your colors can be created. This is one place it can be create, created. And you, as you see, you can do this from the very beginning. So we're gonna go back, as you see here, click the back button. And we also have typography. Typography is the font that you would use. What you decide, if you already know the font that you would want to use, I would go ahead and um, change it to that font that you would like if it's available. If not, um, as I did, I started off with the original font that uh, Shopify provided because I really wasn't sure what it would look like based on just being here in settings, okay? Because there is another location where you can change that. So if you wanna play, with it, play around with it here, that's fine. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't because, I mean, you don't know what it's gonna look like until once you get into the actual website and you see it for yourself. But let's click back on the topography and oh, where's my mouse? And we're going to go back. We're going to go back into social media. Social media is very important. Now, as you see here, this is says it's an image and it's sometimes called a favicon. And this is shown when you're sharing your link on social media. You know, when you put, oh, blah, blah, this is my website or this is my blog or whatnot. Well, this is where you would put your face, your logo, but this is what would be at the end of your link and would show on the thumbnail. This is a great way to get your logo out there. And if you don't have a logo, it's a great way to get your image out there for everyone to see. So this is where it goes. You can select your image and the select your image would be here. It is pre, um, this here is preloaded with these particular um, credit card and money logos along with the Shopify. Now, of course you don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna upload a picture. That's how you get your picture in. And as you see, I have a lot of pictures because as I said, I am in the jewelry industry. <laughs> so suppose there's a picture that you want and we're just gonna click on these earrings for now. I'm sorry, we're gonna go ahead and click on this one here. Okay, I double clicked, or if you like, you can click one time and hit the open button. Either way, whatever is uh, convenient for you. So now you see it that it's in uh, the image library and you can click select. Okay, so once you click select, it's in there. And this is the favicon that people will see um, when they open up your, uh, your thumbnails, I'm sorry. Now also here, I can't open this up. You can see that you can change edit, and even remove this picture if you like, and you decide that you want to change it later on. So now that you know that, let's go ahead and scroll down. Now, where are we going to share all of our great products and where do we want them to see it? Are we on Facebook? Yes. So go ahead and it's already clicked. If you don't want to share on Facebook, unhighlight it, unclick. So this, for this demonstration purposes, we are going to share on Facebook, where she does not have Twitter, um, and she can also pin on Pinterest. I do. Pinterest is a great place to do this. So your social accounts, like I said, Twitter. You'll need to enter here the social accounts here. So I know that, okay, I need to ask her these questions. So I thank you guys for stopping by.